Hello all, join me today as we hop in our DeLorean and set our destination for 1985 France to review the Lancé Tread Toy. For only 99 francs, you could score this ultra rare gift set containing Allegios and Tread made by Gakken of Singapore and distributed by Lancé under the Henshin Robo brand. If you were still in 2019, you would have to scour the secondary market for one and you'd expect to pay a lot of money for it. The far better move would be to spend that money on a ton of new toys from Big Bad Toy Store. Click through my campaign link in the comments below to shop for the rarest items of 30 years from now and help this channel out in the process. The box is tall with big windows showing off the goods within. You may be aware that there are even rarer Gakken of Japan versions of the tread, and I apologize if I'm really butchering the Japanese pronunciation of this company's name. A few test shots were made for marketing purposes, but those were never boxed and have some stickers applied and they did their best to look good for photo shoots. In this video, we're sticking to the ones that you can actually find out there. The Lancet version, which is the same in all respects, except this one is stamped Gakken of Singapore. Pulling out the tray, you'll find a Legios and Tread toy. The Legios toy has its shoulder sensor and gun attached to sprues. Behind the tray, you'll find French language instructions for how to transform the Legios and stickers for the Legios. Some of those stickers would work on the Tread, but out of the three people I've spoken to who actually own one of these things, none had a separate sticker sheet for the Tread. That said, it is possible there are some tread instructions and sticker sheets out there somewhere. While I can't help with the sticker sheet, I will be providing step-by-step -step transformation and Legios attachment instructions as part of this video. This toy comes with a Legios. The Legios has a sensor array and a gun on a sprue. I don't have them out or connected. I'm not going to be talking much about the Legios. I'll pull it out to show you how it attaches to the tread, but I'll have a separate video for the Legios and its variants in the future. The tread comes packaged in bomber mode. You're going to want to pop up these gray pieces in the back and pull the wings out. That's all pretty simple to do. Once you do have the toy out, you'll notice these big cavities in the front of the vehicle, and that's going to be to receive that Legios later. There are no pop-down missile bays here, no pop-up missile bays up top. The landing gear are permanently affixed and out and simplified, but they are able to spin. Obviously, they're not metal with rubber tires. This was kind of a budget toy, so you shouldn't expect too much from it. It is solid. It holds together well. You can whoosh it around in bomber mode. No problem. Even with that connecting boom that can extend or retract, it's good and sturdy, so no issues there. You will notice there is a big toe that comes down on the front of what becomes the leg with a wheel on it. Uh, I'll show you why that is in just a moment. It's obviously not very line art accurate. And the other thing we don't get is the bottom of the leg or the thigh connection down here that you would expect from the line art. So a couple little weaknesses there, but otherwise a sturdy and fun and playable toy. So that's a good place to begin. All right, let's connect the tread to a soldier mode Legios. When you're ready to attach the Legios in soldier mode to your tread, you're gonna go ahead and extend the connecting arm out, bring that cockpit down and bring that little peg adapter upward Take your Legio's toy, which has a peg right at the bottom of it, and just slide it into that adapter, that connecting boom. And you'll see you've got the big wheels sticking out right in the front, which is a little awkward. There's also almost no articulation to this Legio's, so there's not a whole lot of fun you can have with it. Oh, so let's get that wing where it's supposed to be. So there you go, that would be you handling the toy. This is where you get those big wheels big toes and wheels on the back of the tread. So you can now kind of zoom it around if you wanted to, make it play like a toy. As you can see, not a very good way of doing things. A much better solution, if you really liked this mode, would be to grab a display stand and put the toy on you know, something like this. Uh, and then you could pretend like you're flying in from space with your tread attached to do some damage not a whole lot you can do, mostly because the Legios itself is so limited. Otherwise, I guess perfectly acceptable in this mode. I can pick it up. I can, again, swoosh it around, as long as I'm somewhat cognizant of the fact that there are two different toys being 
loosely held together. All right, let's go ahead and put the Legios in in fighter mode. Now we're ready to connect the tread in bomber mode with the Legios in fighter mode. And what we're gonna do there is here's your Legios mode, our fighter mode toy. It's obviously a disaster. Nothing is collapsing inward, leaves it really far out extended, which is why we ended up with these big holes in the front of the tread. What we wanna do is take this toy and just swing the legs down. Let's make sure those arms are collapsed like so. So we're gonna bring those legs down. We're gonna take our tread toy. We're gonna to bring in the connecting boom all the way and we're gonna bring down the head. And then we're gonna take our legios and just line up those arms with that opening and slide that all the way back. Once we're in, we can fine tune that peg placement by adjusting the angle on the legios. So that'll slide right in. And now that's nice and tight. And we didn't connect the legs on the legios to leave an opening for the tread. So now we'll just push those back up as far as we can. Everything will stay together nice and tight at the peg and slot. And there you go. Now you've got your toy connected in fighter and bomber mode. You can actually swoosh it around. It will stay connected very firmly. You can even put it down on the ground and it'll roll around on those landing gear. All right, let's go ahead and transform the toy to soldier mode. This isn't a toy I transform often or like ever. So bear with me here as we try to go through the steps. We're gonna begin by pushing down these gray pieces in the back. And then we wanna free up this leg by sliding it back. And there's basically a mushroom underneath this peg that you need to slide through a groove. So let's see if we can do that. And I'm not really thrilled. Okay, so there it goes. It just comes back there. You can see there's that peg that came back and we can just bring our leg down now, hopefully. There we go. So we're just gonna bring that leg down like so. And I'm gonna do the same thing with the other leg on the other side. Now I'm in sort of a quasi guardian mode. I'm gonna go ahead and bring my wings in on the arms so they don't bother us as we continue transformation here. And then I'm always a little wary about touching the arms because I see so many broken arms out there. Uh, we're gonna bring up this section here as well. So that is a durability issue. The arms, where they connect to the body, you do wanna be careful. You don't wanna be leaning on anything as you transform this toy. Because like I said, you do see some of these being sold sometimes with the arms broken off. I wanna thank Carl Hoff at this step who previously posted online an instruction guide for how to transform these toys. I'm gonna to be following his method on this next step of moving this interior hinge down to its lower position. So what you wanna do, get this leg as far down as you can. You put a finger in behind to support the hinge and then you press forward and bring the whole hinge assembly down. And as you come down, let's see if I can get this on here. There is a stopper back there. So as you bring the hinge, so we continue to come down with it and I'm kind of rotating the legs as I come down. You're going to hit that stopper right there, and that's as far as you want to go. And there you go. Now you've got your legs in soldier mode position. Just a couple steps left now. We're going to bring the cockpit down. We can bring these guys out like so. And then we got to rotate the arms, and you can see I've already done one of them. They are incredibly stiff, and this is a very scary proposition here, but I'm gonna hold on tight, bring it in. Now you have to rotate the arm very specifically in the direction you just saw me do it. If you try going in the opposite direction, you may very well break the toy. So there you go. Now you've got your toy in soldier mode. We got a little bit of fine tuning to do re related to the legs, but otherwise that's it. I think this next step is kind of up to you and what you prefer since we don't have either instructions or pictures on the box of what the final tread soldier or batloid mode should look like. I've got two gaps on either knee. As long as they're symmetrical, I don't think it really matters. 
Uh, but you could also kind of lean the legs forward a little bit. So these legs, if you lift up, they will slide down on you. And then you can get a little forward lean to them and have no gap at all. So that's another option. And then you would just rotate the upper body and you would have your toy with no gaps, no head, no elbows, no hands, very little articulation to this toy. And that swing bar in the middle, as you can see, doesn't do the best job of propping the chest up. So that's unfortunate. What's even more unfortunate is really, it's that 172 Legios toys legs that don't compact at all, that mandated this giant gap right here in the tread. And even this swing bar, which made the hips get higher up, which isn't really line art accurate, just so there could be more clearance for that Legios toy. So that Legios toy being so poor, had a negative impact on the tread as well. Now the tread does have that integrated connecting rod, which means you don't have the ability to fold the butt down because that rod is coming all the way through here. So then you end up with this giant butt in the back. From an articulation standpoint, really all we're talking about is the ability to bring the arms forward. So I can bring the arms all the way forward. Let's keep that down. So I can bring this all the way forward. So the fist is pointing forward, the non-existent fist, but if it were there, it'd be pointing forward. And then obviously I gotta bring it all the way back so it's in bomber mode again. Don't try to angle the arm upward. Seems like that's the danger zone for this toy and you don't want to break it. Now, from an articulation standpoint, we can rotate the leg and really well, that's what you're talking about. You're going to be able to get some skating looking poses if you want to do something dynamic. The legs themselves, they can bend forward, but not so much back because that connection is going to hit the thigh and ruin your fun in a hurry. So there you go. Not a very fun toy to handle in soldier mode, much like the Legio's toy it pairs with. It's an 80s toy, but don't expect die cast metal. This toy is all plastic and very light. It's a super rare toy and it's cool for what it is. And it's definitely better than Legio's it came with, but it doesn't compete with the larger modern toys with integrated missile bays, plug and landing gear and better articulation. Tracking one of these down in good condition can be very hard and expensive, so this one is for licensed unicorn hunters only. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead and hit that like button and make sure you're subscribed. Check out anymoon.com for the full article, and thanks for watching.